impact of co-creation methods to long-term care LDC services. The objective of this mock lecture is to introduce the topic and possible effects of co-creation to LDC services with some best practices. The aim of this mock lecture is to educate about co-creation practices and their benefits to promote the incorporation of co-creation content in social work studies within higher education, undergraduate and graduate courses. Thus, co-creation in social work is still somewhat uncommon. After this mock lecture, you will have an overview of what kind of impact co-creation methods may have on LDC services. The overview. Co-creation or long-term care LDC means an act of creative collaboration between stakeholder groups with shared goals in which create value. In the SOCATE project specifically, we define co-creation as a collaborative process between stakeholder groups bringing in both empirical knowledge and professional expertise to generate knowledge and develop meaningful digital public services that are tailored to the needs of both the aging population and providers of these services. The predicted outcome of co-creation in LDC services is that it adds to the emotional well-being of the older people needing care, provides the dignity of independence and gives paid staff more time to look after those who can't help caring for themselves. Uh, the long-term care and the long view. Only with development of welfare state, housing and social care and modern technologies, yeah, medicines, technological assistance, and an improved standard of living and diet have many people lived into old age. We now speak of early old age, middle old age and old old age. Demographic change is not a problem, it is an achievement, provided people can live with dignity and maximum autonomy. Just because people are old does not mean that they lose their moral compass or ability to help themselves. Most people see helping with their own care as part of their own self-respect, an identity striving to retain independence, not dominated by others. Co-creation is multi-level. Co-creation of care operates at multi-levels. All the people's feedback or involvement in designing and testing new care systems help co-design services. At an individual level, co-creation helps personalize integrated care plans to ex exactly suit their needs. They receive what they need, no more, no less, no waste. One of the important ways in which carers can improve services is by feedback from service users and informal carers, ideas that improve the quality of care, co-creates improved ethics of care, adds to value for money and reduces waste. Small improvements, succession, all adds up to a qualitative service improvement, all the result of co-creation. Next, we'll look at best practices for co-creation. Co-creation accounting for capabilities of older people as service users. Experiences within the SOCATEL project have indicated that older people as service users are special and unique group in co-creation. This sets demands on the implementation of co-creation. One of the most central points of the attention is that all the people as service users are not necessarily capable of sustained co-creation over several years. Their condition may be poor and the situations may be constantly changing. For this reason, co-creation often means that it will be implemented with a constantly changing group of older clients. This is why, for instance, teaching the methods is constantly new process. Clear and precise objectives for co-creation. Co-creation in authentic living space of the older people, instead of asking them to come to an office to co-create, usually has the best chance of success. It is equally important for the service users to know for which problem co-creation is aiming to find solutions and with which entity are they working. Clear and precise objectives promote the usability of the information at the local level. This is makes it easier to attach the product, produce information and development to the local service processes. 
Experience in the Sogotol project indicates that the adequate amount of time should be used for defining the objectives and the problems. Proper preparation have a significant positive effect on the effectiveness of co-creation. Testing and ethical evaluation best occurs situated where and how the user is likely to access the technology and should over time estimate accessibility, use, usage, usefulness, and usability. Flexible use of methods related to the co-creation in service for older people. There are several different methods available for co-creation. On the basis of Sobotel project, there is no single method that would alone stand out in services for older people. The applicability of each method depends on the local culture, the objective set for co-creation, and the situation in general. For instance, the nature of innovation operations has an effect on what kind of co-creation methodology is needed. Therefore, it is a completely different thing to develop co-creation in a situation where radical, revolutionary innovations are targeted compared to having an objective to incrementally develop the existing services. A methodological challenge is also presented by the fact that all the people may have many things on their minds, but they do not necessarily have the words to express them or they may not be completely aware of their needs. Thus, mixed methods based on both language formulation or working with items and images are preferred. Prior to usability and ethical evaluation, the methodology and methods of co-creation should be formally considered and peer-reviewed. Putting up feedback and communication channels. The most critical but logically often neglected aspect of co-creation is to draw conclusions and communicate them. In any case, gathering up results, giving feedback and communicating are the most essential things for strengthening co-creation at local level. Communication is a way to partly ensure the usefulness and prominence of co-creation. This, on the other hand, has an effect on how the participants want to take part in implementing co-creation in the future. For example, the feedback received has a significant effect on the strengthening or weakening of co-creation culture. Usability and ethical evolutions are iterative process and should involve at least one round of reporting back what has been learned and altered to users and inviting future testing and ethical evaluation. Technical functionality and ease of use of co-creation platforms promote use. Online co-creation platforms should be technically functional and easily taken into use. Particularly, the first experience of the platforms are important. If introduction to an online platform or co-creation on the platform is not user-friendly, those participating in co-creation will not want to use the platform in the future. Technical difficulties will also draw attention away from the actual co-creation. The platform should support co-creation and learning how to use the platform should not be the main issue. The issue was brought up by many testers of the Sogdal digital platform during the piloting phase. As one of the participants put it, if the idea is that the home care customer gives feedback through the platform personally, the platform needs to be very simple and easily usable. Consequently, newly developed service systems and or technologies should be tested, meaning accessibility, use, usage, usefulness and usability for functionality before testing with users and other stakeholders. Next, we present the uh, 10 case examples. First, misplaced care, hospital and residential. In the past, many countries provided residential care. There is no dignity in not choosing who you live with and are perhaps ill beside. The ethics of moving people from their own community and home are questionable. This is especially so in lock-up care, for example, at early stage of dementia. Residential care is often 10 times the cost of independent living. Modern older people's care favors independent living in one's own home and supported and supervised accommodation. 
independent living provides opportunities for older people to co-create their own care more easily involve family and friends and customize the home to their own particular needs thus independent living gives the dignity of having one's own home happiness and well-being are associated with a meaningful life and less illnesses the second case independent living smartness in service networks People talk of independent living as smart housing. Is that so? What is smart about independent living is that the old people can create their own care, their own life. The challenge for service providers from independent living is moving away from the top-down bureaucracy services towards a model that personalizes services to the individual needs in their particular homes. Independent living emphasizes co-creation of the care package by service users bringing together an integrated package of services. Independent living challenges service providers to put the service user at the center. Services are pulled towards the users, not pushed by the bureaucracy. Co-creation involves service users and the informal carers in designing these service packages. Third case, hub and spoke centers. Independent living is often organized in concentric circles on a hub and spokes model. For example, at the center are the small number of people requiring residential care, often residing near or in hub activity centers. These centers provide healthcare, educational and exercise facilities and act as hub for community activities. Moving outwards in circles can be old people living independently in supervised and sheltered housing and further out custom built independent living and finally independent living in own homes, hopefully to maturity. By revising and co-creating dynamic care packages that change as client needs alter, social workers are able to help maintain clients in appropriate living space and that maximizes their independence and autonomy. Again, only by co-creating care packages for clients, other professional formal carers and with informal carers are social workers able to see clients receive the care appropriate to their changing conditions. Case four, co-creation and technology in home. Once a care plan is accurate with service users and a vast range of alert, alarm and assistive technologies are available to support independent living. Design of the particular package for each service years can't be effectively done with their involvement. That would be co-creation. Often basic package for each independent home is provided, for example, video phone, panic pattern, door security, temperature and fall alarms. This is then added to, for example, alerts for nighttime movements, alarm for security breach or assistive curtain closure, bath filling, or education class access. Video calls from social workers is an example of how technology allows more frequent and closer contact with service users. Family and friends too can stay in touch more easily and medical staff place reminders about medications and exercise programs. Customization of alert, alarm and assistive technology can only occur by co-creating the care package with service users and their families. Case 5. Co-creation and ambient technology. Special users with early and mild dementia welcome tracking technology such as approach or watch, giving the older person a feeling of security outside the home. Services can include setting a zone of safety in which the person can wander but crossing of which in the age an alarm two-way communication can help users find toilets or their way to a particular destination trackers also include panic buttons informal carers from whatever location to check their older people's location and well-being or just to call and chat Individuals can create their own welfare by participating in cooperation, for example, setting work routines, roads, places to go, time to go, or to be outside. Wandering is a major concern for family and police. Co-created technological security provides everyone concerned with security. Research shows 
that while there are ethical questions associated with tracking, for most people, the security is more important. Case 6. Social workers are innovative, logical practice loops. Social work is one of the most innovative public sector profession. Teams reflecting on acting learning, action learning from logical practice regularly identify and generalize best practice. Keeping case notes is an opportunity to reflect on practice and to identify improvement opportunities. Many directors, directors encourage in consultation with team leaders, experimentation and testing practice improvements. Over time, this is how social work has developed from 1950s, a profession that fitted deviance into society towards one where reflection in practice informs a caring service that adds to meaningfulness of people's lives. Action learning and continuous improvement come from co-creative discussions with clients, also the wide range of other professors, professions with whom social workers operate and often lead in multidisciplinary teams. Social workers act in a similar way with voluntary organizations. Case 7. Voluntary organizations and co-creating older people's care. Voluntary organizations frequently staffed by senior citizens play a critical role in care for the older people and other social work client groups. Often social workers marshal and help guide the work of voluntary organizations to achieve high impact on client welfare. Social workers help enable voluntary organizations to co-create well-being for a wide range of clients. For example, with voluntary organizations specializing in medical conditions, helping migrants and supporting community, educational and well-being activities. Social workers interact with voluntary organizations both as teachers and learners. In both cases, the learning relates to co-creating between the public sector and voluntary organizations that best support and help for client groups. Voluntary organizations specialized in uncommon medical and social conditions can bring vast expertise that helps social workers co-create appropriate care. Case 8. Loneliness, alcohol addiction and co-creation. Some of the most difficult clients are those who choose not to participate in helpful services or activities and instead withdraw into loneliness or addiction. Collaboration is crucial in such cases. Shame, guilt, loss of self-esteem and confidence often require sustained attention and integration with family and friends and neighbors to pull clients towards a more fulfilling lifestyle. Finding out what might interest people in social activity, lost family or friends to reconnect with can be an important stage in reducing shame and restoring confidence. When client is withdrawn, co-creation with others connected to them can be the strategy that breaks barriers and addresses maladaptive guilt, often by linking the client to informal or voluntary groups. Case 9. Team working. Social work is built on team working, exchanging case notes, identifying good practices, learning from failure and success, bustling through moral, budgetary or other dilemmas. The team gathers and shares, accumulates learning. Often the young bring new ideas from recent training and experience bring learning from practice. Crossover ideas between teams are sometimes recorded and distributed using in-house online learning or less frequently contributions to journals such as the Nordic Journal of Social Work and British Journal of Social Work. Increasingly, social workers operate in cross-disciplinary teams, again an opportunity to collect new ideas and co-create new approaches, especially for how service at client level can integrate more closely. Especially where care plans are shared, often online, ideas for co-creation arise from the reflective Reflecting on how the client is evolving and how they respond to particular initiatives. Case 10. Budgeting. Like all on-demand services, social work must manage budgets. Implementing a care plan for one client might have the opportunity, cost of delaying or cancelling care plans for a large number of clients. Social work lives with these dilemmas. Co-creation can help reduce costs while 
at the same time assuring quality. Independent living is an example. Costs are low at time residential care, yet care quality and ethical standards are higher. However, co-creation is not a cost-saving tactic. If it is employed in this way, clients and families are rejected. Instead, co-creation is about giving dignity and autonomy to clients and at the same time allowing projects to stretch further. Thank you very much. And this is what we learned today. And next you can have the study materials on the slides. Have a great day.